Hello my beautiful plantful people, my name is Yulia and this is channel all about plants and plenty things so if you're into that kind of stuff you're welcome to join me and as I said in my last video today I will repot this beautiful pink syngonium that I have and I need to do that because he is in extremely small pot and I think that he is out of nutrients already he is growing really fast so we will see how the roots are looking but for now I see some roots from the holes on the bottom so I think that's the sign that he will like to be in some new soil in some larger pot and there was extremely hard to find some pots here where I live pots that I would like there are pots but I don't like them so I usually like to buy pots like this and I couldn't find them all through the winter so now I found few of them and I will plant my syngonium in this one I planted or potted actually my last syngonium also in this pot and as you may see it's extremely large it's too big for this syngonium but I will plant him in this anyway because I think he will grow into it pretty fast these plants are really fast growers and really easy to care for so I think he will be just fine and I will plant him same as I did for my other syngonium in just basic potting mix so we will see how that will go Syngoniums doesn't like to be dried completely so that's why I'm planting them in just basic potting mix because that way I can keep them moist longer and you really need to be careful with watering with them because if you, if you water them too much they will rot extremely fast and if you don't water them enough they will dry so balance is key with them you just stick your finger in the soil and if you feel that from third third part part from the bottom is moist you can water them maybe a little bit but never let them dry out completely and if you feel that the soil is moist to the half of the pot don't water them still that's what I'm doing so it's working for now and we will see how this will go in this large pot I will be more careful with these huge pots so yeah I won't water them that often and that's actually good because I really like to go to hikings and stuff so that way I don't need to think did I water them or not I usually water my syngoniums maybe once a week and that was when they were in this small pots so since they will be in these larger pots this spring I think I will water them maybe once in two or even three weeks because these pots are really huge and I think that this amount of soil will stay moist too long anyway so let's now check I have back here on the side where I keep my old soil I use that in my garden so that is what I will use around my roses maybe and yeah let's see what we have here yes like I said he really has some large beautiful roots I'm not sure if you can see on the bottom but they all got in the bottom and in this around shape it's beautiful 
roots are looking great I won't mess with them too much I try not to do so with my plants and let's just see yeah roots are healthy and beautiful I'm pretty pleased with this so now I will just add a little bit more of the soil and we are done this is a really easy thing to do I actually like to repot so much that I'm always sad when it's done I would like to do that all day, all day long because it's really pleasing I like plants and I like to hover over them <laughs> maybe even too much so now let's see how I will place him and that will be it for this year I will just use some fertilizer maybe every time when I water this but I don't use as much as they say on the bottle bottle I use maybe third of what is recommended just in case because I use fertilizer almost every time so I don't want to burn my plants and that usually works I can't say what kind of fertilizer I use because I just bought bottle of the cheapest one that I had here on a, in the store and it's working well so it's all purpose fertilizer for house plants indoor plants and yeah nothing special and here it is i really like how this syngonium looks in this gray pots i had this light gray before and now i have this dark gray and i like them both so i'm really happy about this contrast and look at him he looks amazing I think he will be happy in this new pot and with all these new nutrients that he got so yeah this is it thank you so much for watching I hope to see you next time and goodbye